does paying more for chicken result in more flavour? Today we're going to put it to the test, cooking three chickens ranging from basic supermarket chicken to perhaps the most pampered chicken in the country to find out. So for this experiment, we're going to cook three chickens, identical size. We've got a basic supermarket chicken that costs five pounds. We've got a corn fed free range chicken that costs 11 pounds. And lastly, we've invested in a chicken that costs 25 pounds. This is from Dalesford. Those of you that are unfamiliar, Dalesford, you might recognize it from Clarkson's farm. It's where Jeremy Clarkson paid, I think, 83 pounds for a sandwich. Uh, this is organic, free range. I don't know what it was fed. I'm guessing caviar and Dom Perignon. But needless to say, chickens don't come better than this. All right, now the big boy. Just gonna give him a final little pat down. Just give us a good chance of getting some crispy skin. All right, time to get these on the grill. So we're cooking these pretty low at 225. Get our temperature probes in. There we go. Gonna double up, get a meter in there. Okay, so all three chickens are at 70 degrees. We've got 70, 70, and 71. So we're gonna get them off and get them resting. Okay, so our chicken's all done. We've got the supermarket chicken, the free range corn fed chicken, and the organic Dalesford chicken. Before I taste these though, I wanna point out a pretty massive visual difference between them, which is that the supermarket chicken, this one didn't get much color on it at all. And this kind of makes sense because as we pay more for chicken, two things really change. The food that the chicken eats tends to improve and the amount of exercise the chicken gets tends to increase. And with more exercise, that would translate into more protein and less fat on the chicken. And so what I think we're seeing here is that because this chicken obviously hasn't had much exercise in its life, it's got a lot of fat. And that fat hasn't rendered, which means we haven't got crispy skin. We've got this kind of pretty nasty rubbery skin. Um, and it hasn't been able to crisp and get a nice bit of color that, like we've got on these. These two, I'm not completely happy of how they've cooked. I would like them to have a little bit longer, but they have, this has started to get a little bit of crisp on it. This one a bit less so, and that's because they're likely to be a little bit leaner, and so it's less fat to render, and so easier to get that crispy skin, crispy dark skin on them. All right, time to give them a taste. So I'm gonna cut off a little bit of thigh meat from each one. Okay, first up, we're gonna try the five pound chicken. It's okay. A little bit dry. Yeah, nothing, nothing special. Okay, so next up, we're gonna try the free range corn fed chicken. Mmm, that's good. It's a big step up from this one. You can just taste it's not as fatty, much juicier. Yeah, that's nice. All right, now lastly, I hope this is good because this chicken costs a lot of money. <laughs> so we're gonna try the creme de la creme of chicken. This is the organic free range caviar fed chicken. You know what? I don't think that's that much better than that. It is different. I can for sure taste that's quite different, but better. Yeah, I would say these two are just as good as each other in terms of flavor. The flavor is a bit different. This one tastes almost like a bit more like buttery. This one kind of just tastes like good chicken. This one's got a slightly different taste to it, but I wouldn't say it's any better uh, to this one. So next time you're buying chicken, is it worth paying that little bit more? So there's obviously a really important ethical element to this as well, but I think ultimately that comes down to personal choice. But if we focus purely on flavor, for me, the conclusion from this experiment is that it is worth paying a little bit more to get chicken that's free range, where the chicken's been able to move, develop more protein, a little bit less flat, that's gonna help us get crispier skin and get a better end product. But we definitely don't need to be paying through the roof for the best quality chicken we can find. Now, if you enjoyed this experiment, remember to subscribe to the channel to get a weekly experiment where I test something barbecue related to help you level up your barbecue knowledge.